What's up, everybody? Before I start this video, I probably should have said this last week, but it would mean a lot to me if you would go check out my new scary movie on my individual channel, What Should I Do? It's an interactive scary movie. There's three sets of questions, and basically, you gotta choose the right one every time or else you die. <laughs> um, so, it's really fun. Uh, when we went up to Boston a couple months ago, we filmed it there. Um, it's really good. I'm so proud of it. Me and my girlfriend worked really hard on it, and it would mean a lot to me if you checked it out. So. Please check it out if you can. Enjoy the rest of the video. And yes, I shaved. I'm still 23. I'm not 12. Don't worry. What's going on, Fin fans? And welcome to the newest Dolphin Drawdown episode. Now, I've noticed a lot of, uh, maybe controversy is the right word. I'm not really sure over if the Dolphins are even improving in the offseason and I actually kind of thought that was a silly question at first because I was like what do you mean like we're getting uh Connor Williams we're getting uh, uh Chase Edmonds you know we're getting some players that we need and it looks like we might get Teron Armstead soon uh if that news like comes out by the time this video or before this video is released again I have to say the date every time because it's kind of stuff like this but anyway it's 1 36 p.m on Sunday March 20th 2022 so anyway yeah, uh, I don't know what is the news there, but, uh, you know, it looks like we might get him. But anyway, are the Dolphins really improving, excuse me, improving, or are they just kind of the same team with, like, a few marginal changes? All right, I can get that argument. I can see why people say that. I really do. Because, um, yeah, I mean, Cedric Wilson, he's not this, like, dynamic receiver everyone's heard about. Chase Edmonds, sure, it's just a running back at the end of the day. And Connor Williams even has some, and eh, he's all right kind of things and then the players that we re-signed are players that were already here last year so i can understand that but i think the people uh that say that don't understand that this is a completely new scheme this is bigger than you probably think it is like getting cedric wilson uh you know chase edmonds all these people alec ignu or ingold i don't know why i keep saying ignu but alec ingold um that's pretty big for that specific system and I think what matters the most is, I don't care about our defense, our defense is fine. Did our offense improve? And the answer is yes, it improved. Not only do we have a offensive-minded coach who's gonna put us through an offensive-minded scheme, but we have more players. We're getting running backs finally, uh, we're getting some more receivers, slot kind of speed receivers. That really works with Tua's game and this specific offense. Uh, and not to mention, we're actually fixing our O-line. Like, say what you want about Connor Williams, but he's better than what we had before. And it sounds like we might get Teron Armstead soon, like, soon, like I said before. Or, uh, Collins from Dallas. You know, one of those things. Um, so did we improve? Yeah, of course we improved. Like, what do you mean we're still the same team? Of course we improved. We got some players that fit our scheme, and our offense in general should be better than it is last year. Now, did we improve drastically? I don't know. I, I guess we just got to wait out the offseason. The draft still didn't happen yet. I would just say, I know Dolphin fans are kind of tired of hearing this, but I would just say stay patient. Again, I know you're tired of hearing that, but it's, I mean, it It did kind of just start, guys. Like, we're, we're literally in the start of the Mike McDaniel era. Like, at least give this a chance. Uh, I think it's going to work out. I think Tua is very similar to Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, or at least that's like a really close comparison that I can think of. I basically just have confidence it's going to work. Um, I think the offensive line has improved. I think these receivers are a good fit for this scheme. Uh, and we got actual running backs. And not only that, but we kept our defensive players. So to me, I still think we have even playoff expectations, frankly. Uh, now, the AFC is a very tough conference. So I can see why people are going to question what the Dolphins are doing. And maybe that can be a separate video. Uh, but, uh, anyway, on if we can compete in the AFC, but anyway, to answer the simple question on, are we an improved football team? Yes, I think we are. And I might even say it might be by a lot. I mean, you don't know, like we, we really don't know. This is a completely new scheme. If it was under Brian Flores, I'd be kind of like, it's just kind of marginal, but for Mike McDaniel's era and seeing how the 49ers ran their offense, this actually, these actually might be pretty big changes. I guess I would just wait it out. I didn't answer that as well as I kind of wanted to, but uh, I do think it's a, an improvement nonetheless. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think we improved? And if you think we did, do you think we did drastically? Or do you think, honestly, we just didn't do anything? Or do you think we somehow declined? 
Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, Benza.